Oh, and we're back. Apparently, there are some racy photos or something. They crashed the system. <laughs> I did not put them there. It wasn't from me. Them. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, yeah, San Diego Comic Con. Looking forward to that. We've also got Gen Con. Two so, weeks later. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of conventions. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what else? What else? Uh, does anybody have anything else they want to they want to talk about? Oh, uh, while you're thinking, um, yeah. If anybody has any questions in chat, feel free to give us your questions, either about origins or just whatever you want to talk about. Um, and I will also note that you know we were talking about the demo scenario. Just want to give you know show or throw uh, props out to to Wilting Moon. Uh, you know long-standing member of the community and our uh rpg playtest coordinator uh they're the one who uh made that scenario for us uh and that's one we've been using in in uh rpg playtesting for a while so i i'm glad to hear that everyone enjoyed it cool yeah and also i'd like to thank aaron hoyt too who oh, yeah. uh ran us through it uh yes it aaron. Wednesday night. Yep. Mm -hmm. it seems like weeks ago uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> We uh, workshopped it with him uh, before doing the demo, and uh, yeah, it was a huge help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah, was Aaron's, Aaron's great. Uh, he's awesome. Somebody in chat asked, I know I asked about this like Friday, but any shipping cost updates yet? Uh, yeah, I well, no updates yet. We're still working on it, and yeah, I will apologize that it has taken uh, longer than we would have expected to figure it out, but we do uh plan on getting that figured out and and have some updates for you soon sorry i don't have any more at the moment though <laughs> cool uh yeah i mean anything else anybody wants to plug or talk about or share uh i'd like to give a quick shout out to our entire origin team we had an absolute fantastic team all our volunteers were amazing. They made every sure that everybody who was there was having fun. So thank you to my entire team. Thank you so much for all of your help this show. Yeah, absolutely. We couldn't have done it without you. We couldn't have done it without you, Chris. You're amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Chris. Always the rock star. Be part of it. Every single convention. Be part of it. Yeah. Um, there's a uh, question here about yeah. um was there Gloomhaven second edition at the show? Yeah, does, I mean you want to talk about yeah how the second edition demos went i guess we did a little bit but uh yeah obviously it, yeah it, it was there um yes mm -hmm. I, I think you already said like people uh were were enjoying it and kind of you know yes. so what we did surprised was... at kind of the extent of the changes um but also yeah felt that they were good that the players or the characters felt any or felt better playing yep so um, what we did was we had them available on the same tables as Frosthaven, so people could see the better integration between all of the Crosshaven and Gloomhaven starter classes, you know, just with symbols match. Oh, this is more cohesive, more coherent to have everything all the same layout. Um, and it felt like the characters were all balanced between each other for both versions. So having both of them on the table at the same time gave people a lot of options. It was fun seeing stuff like uh, uh, Drifter running around with a spell weaver, uh, yeah. stuff like that. Um, just, just, just a lot of fun party combinations uh, that people got to try out with all the new cards. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that's cool. So you're running Frosthaven demos, but just throwing in the Gloomhaven 2 characters as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. And yeah, that's awesome. There's another question in here. Um, can you switch characters mid-campaign? I assume that it is because there's a feature in Gloomhaven, but just in case. Uh, so I assume we're talking about the RPG. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, like yep. in, in Gloomhaven 2nd Edition, you know, our retirement's works the same way that it does in, in gloomhaven so you'll be have a personal quest whenever you create a character and you know play a dozen or so scenarios and get to retire that character and swap out um but yeah in the rpg uh i mean it, it's you know it's it's a more freeform system so it's kind of up to the players um i mean typically in in rpgs yeah you if if the gm says it's okay which i don't know why they wouldn't but yeah if you want to if you're tired of playing your old character you know you typically like find some way for them to die heroically or you know just go off and do something else and, and then you start a new character um so yeah it's, it's really 
you know, like, like I said, like the keys are in your hands. And so, yeah, if you want to try out a different character for whatever campaign your GM is running, um, it's typically going to be just fine. Cool. Another question here. Uh, do we plan to release race and class definitions prior to the RPG uh, release? Definitions? Like uh, kind of like lore on, on those? Uh, probably, yeah, probably probably something like lore and background titles, some questions yeah. on that at Origins, just about you know, kind of the history, some of the ancestries and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously that will be coming with the RPG release. Um, you know, that will be a, a large part of the book is kind of lore on, on yeah, all the ancestries and classes and, and regions of the world. Uh, I expect that leading up to that, um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll be writing lots of updates and be looking for content. And so as that stuff gets written um, by all the fabu fabulous authors that we've uh, brought on to, to read or to, to write all that stuff, uh, as that gets more fleshed out and more, you know, just solidified and, and written well, um, that, that, yeah, we can definitely share that in, in upcoming updates. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, it's been fun. I I've had I've had a nice time. Yeah, it's been it's, it's really chill. nice to actually be able to you know tell you know get on and tell tell everybody about how the how awesome our team is with the uh, all our demos and all of our cons. We get we're very very lucky to have the people we have. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I every person I've ever met um, who's who's uh, come out to help us at one of the conventions has has just been great, and I've always enjoyed just hanging out with them at the booth. And so yeah, I'm. Not surprised that or, this origins was any different, and <laughs> yeah, I look forward to actually making it out to Gen Con to to hang out with people too. Yeah, yeah. So you, you heard it here. Isaac will be at Gen Con. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the word is out. <laughs> Isaac will be at Gen oh, Con. In Apparently, now. people are always looking for me. So <laughs> yeah, we had a few. We had a few this, this show. <laughs> oh, real quick, shout out to Ted, Hans, Alex, and Sam. For being at the booth too um yeah it made everything like the setup and everything well, and van and van sorry <laughs> and van is yeah of course van but yeah like our team like really did a good job with um um setup and um tear down it was, was, it was seamless it was amazing oh nice yeah it's always a stressful part of it especially the yeah. end where you just mm -hmm. want to go home and you gotta tear everything down <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think we did it two guys hours did a good flat. job with the lifting god Good job, guys. Two hours flat. Wow. It may have been a, it may have been a new record for us. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yep. Cool. Well, I think that's going to do it for the chat uh, this evening. I had a lot of fun. I hope I hope people enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you weren't able to make it out to Origins or, you know, or yeah, just in general, uh, I hope to see you at a future convention. Or even if I'm not there, I hope you come on by and uh, yeah, check out the RPG or Gloomhaven 2 or whatever, whatever it is you're looking for. I hope you find it. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to end it for today. So have a good night and I will see you on Friday with another Fireside Chat.